The Nancy Deloy and Roland V. Fitzroy Medal is being awarded to Dr. Shan Zhang. Dr. Zhang is being honored for pioneering contributions in metamaterials and for the creation of the first optical superlens, which overcomes the fundamental diffraction limit in imaging. Dr. Zhang is also being recognized for the invention of plasmonic lithography to advance nanoscale manufacturing. My father actually, during my childhood, really set a good role model. He's the mid-school teacher teaching history, know nothing about science or engineering, but uh, he taught me uh, how to think differently, uh, out of box, and that really is still inspired myself. Born in Nanjing, China, Shan Zhang came to the United States when he was 25 to begin graduate studies at the University of Minnesota. He continued at the University of California, Berkeley, where he's now a professor. Dr. Zhang also directs a National Science Foundation nanoscale science and engineering center. Sean Zhang is just an absolutely incredible academic researcher, you know, uh, pioneer innovator in the field of mechanical engineering, microscale, nanoscale, physics. It's a combination of things that you don't often see in a mechanical engineer. Divergent thinking is a hallmark at Dr. Zhang's lab where he's conducting pioneering research with metamaterials, man-made composites that bend electromagnetic waves in unusual ways. Uh, so you put these artificial building blocks together as a bigger structure, it shows some properties never exist in nature. And that is something, you know, uh, really fascinating. Dr. Zhang and his students demonstrated the first optical superlens, breaking the diffraction limit, a 100-year-old barrier in imaging technology. Dr. Zhang also invented plasmonic lithography, a process that could make microprocessors vastly more powerful than today, and disks that hold 10 to 100 times more data. When we print the electronics, we need to use optical light to pattern those tiny, tiny circuits. What we are aiming to do is not only pattern them small, but also cost effectively. So we are aiming to build some of the new technology using surface plasma, which are the surface waves at the metal surface between air and metal. We essentially use this special wavelengths of the plasmons to help us to squeeze the feature size of the lithography. And therefore, we can pattern even smaller uh, transistors or uh, interconnects for electronics. I'm deeply influenced by his passion for science, passion for discovery. Whenever he sees a chance for the new things to happen, he will always encourage students to go ahead, to pursue your passion, pursue your dream, realize what you, your ambition. And for two students, that meant turning science fiction into reality. They used metamaterials to build an invisibility cloak. Invisibility cloak captured human imaginations for hundreds of years, and this is the first optical uh, uh, invisibility cloak built in the world. The surface of the lens is very sensitive to how the roughness is distributed. Um, I not only see myself as a mentor, but also as a colleague and a friend. So I like them to challenge me and to debate with me. Therefore, as a mature researcher, when they graduate, they have actually uh, equal uh, capabilities, equal critical thinkings, and that's uh, actually my biggest satisfaction. 